My name is Dawa. Um, you might know me as Sultan Carol, uh, Zupa's Revenge, Kaizoku Luffy, uh, any of the IGNs of uh, character videos that are uh, in my uh, profile. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to make new vids, uh, either of the Paladin, which I've quit by the way, sorry guys, uh, or of my pirate. Um, I've really not been in a mood to make one of those. Um, but a lot of uh, requests also came to make a merchanting video about how to become rich. Uh, and I, I kind of fell for that one. Um, so I'm going to give you some hints, some tips about how I feel about merchanting, uh, making money, what, uh, what you should do, what you should uh, be aware of. And uh, I hope it helps you guys a lot, so enjoy it. Uh, we just start off with the term uh, everyone refers to, which is uh, merchant. Uh, commonly used to just describe someone who is in free market a lot, uh, someone who has a lot of money. Uh, to me, uh, the word merchant has a different meaning. Um, I call it a short for uh, many erectile dysfunction retards create hatred and need teabagging. Uh, which pretty well describes also my sentiments about the people who are merchants. Um, so never call me a merchant, I will kill you. Um, to me, merchants are people who hang around, uh, get upon, trade everyone and try to rip everyone off, um, stand in FM and spam shit all the time, like uh, I'm online right now, so it's kind of like this. I don't know if you can see properly, but like this shit, this is annoying as fuck. So I just mentioned Gachapon, um, there's also two other groups of types of people who try to make money on this game that I've um, distinguished there. Um, the first one is, uh, I call it Saggy, uh, which is short for uh, selling a lot of garbage, go you. Um, this also shows how I feel about that. I mean, you sell you sell the good stuff and at the gachapon you just drop your junk and they just roam around uh, gachapon trying to get all your 30% defense scrolls and stuff actually no one wants but miraculously they managed to sell an FM for about 50k a scroll. Um, it is good if you like very measly profit margins because I mean you'd have to sell 20 scrolls to make one mil and I mean to start off with it might be fun but get out of there as fast as you can because it is a lost cause. Uh, the other group of people who do gachapon um, I've called this group the NKPASGRCALALYDCBYD uh, which stands for not knowing the prices and selling gachapon really cheap and acting like you don't care, but you do. Um, this is the kind of people who just puts all their scrolls for a certain price or puts elemental ones for 10 mil because they think 10 mil is a lot. Um, this is a very bad way to get rich and a very good way to get ripped off. Um, I mean, it's it's not a shame to not know the value of stuff. I mean. If you don't know the price, either put it for max mesos and ask for offers, ask someone else uh, who's familiar with the game, ask them how much they think it's worth, or just don't sell it, keep it. I mean, either of those. Don't just put it for a mill and then go like, oh, I don't care, I just want mesos. No, you do care. If you don't care, you're a butt wipe. You should care. I mean, it's you spent money on it, an X at least, or time. You should get what it's worth for it. Um, so don't get yourself ripped off like that. This is too. Um, uh, another strategy uh, some people apply is the G B O G H, uh, which is go big or go home. Basically, they scan the F M for items that are worth immense amounts, and which are only for huge amounts. And that's they have about the same percentage of profit margin as someone who just resells average stuff but because the amounts are a lot higher then uh, the relative percentage represents a lot more profit of course there's the disadvantage it takes a lot longer to sell something 
you have to find the right people, you have to write the right connections, you often have to transfer between servers which cause a lot of NX. It's um, for people who are advanced at it and for people who have a load of time. So I uh, wouldn't recommend it at all but um, if you can do it then great for you. You will, The more you do it the better, better you'll be able to sell all your stuff and you'll, you'll roll into it, you make a lot, a lot of money. Uh, another way to make money on the game, um, I call it the SS Heil, um, which also shows kind of how I feel about it. Um, uh, it stands for selling stuff high and the effort is low. Um, basically what this means is you just have a lot of stuff, um, you don't care if people actually need it or not, you just put it in your shop for a lot of money and you just wait for people who are really desperate or people who don't know what something is worth to buy it. Um, I think it's cheesing off of people who are ignorant. Um, I don't really like people who do this kind of stuff. Um, that's why I uh, made the abbreviation like that. Um, and yeah, I, I just don't think it's a morally a really nice way to make money just off of other people who don't know the value and stuff. Then there's another um, pretty basic beginner strategy, which I call the SMD. Um, it stands for selling mediocre drops, don't get me wrong. Um, wouldn't recommend it just for a short while till you get some funds built up and then get out of there. Because there's low profit margins, there's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just not good. Finally, we have the, uh, the way I use. Um, which I called LEAT, uh, which stands for learning, evaluating, e-research and trading. Uh, these are four uh, keywords to um, how I make money on this game and I think are really important. Uh, the first one, listening. Um, if you hear someone say something about something coming in the next patch or someone selling something cheap at the moment, um, try to get it. Um, if it's about information in the patch, try to do some e-research, that's the third word. Try to find out what exactly is going on, how it's going to affect some stuff, like with the maker skill. I anticipated on that by buying a load of uh, crystals. I spent about 200 mil on that a while ago, a few months ago, but I resold them for over 3 bill together. So that's a lot of profit, that's also one of the best profits I ever had, so don't think that's average. But anticipating on what's coming can really help you get an edge uh, in making a lot of more money than other people. Like the diamonds, um, a lot of people are going on the diamonds, so I didn't. And what happened, all the people buying diamonds for 500k to even more each now can't even resell them for profit. They can barely resell them for what they're actually, what they're actually, their their buying price was. Even the advanced ones are like five mil now, which is just a losing, a losing post for everyone who really invested in the diamonds. Um, 